Everybody listen, everybody listen, watch your step when you go out, there's a couple of levels out here, okay? And they're not level. Oh, okay. And then I'll get you. John, can you pull that door to uh, make sure it matches there? The owner, the proprietor of Autotopia, stage name was Professor Fobitar. His real name is not, not known, but... G-scale model train that I think. You did all the yes, I think decoration on this? Every, every coach and every train car had its own story. For example, then they went to The midget set off a firecracker deep inside the snake's belly and escaped out of the mouth totally unharmed. <laughs> it's the truth. One time I didn't do it. <laughs> His pride and joy was the two-headed gator, which you see here, rumored to be over 100 years old, right? This is called Barnyard of the Bazaar, right here. Beatrice, the two-headed cow. Horace, the world's smallest horse, which you will see right here. But nothing matched the sheer freakishness of Clucker, the world's largest cock, and it's right here. <laughs> And his nose. This exhibit was always a surefire hit with the crowds, and for a few years in the 1920s, the attendants saddled up the giant cock, and guests could take the ride of their life. <laughs> One time, Ruzo Uzo fell in love. Those are his love letters, which were salvaged from the train from his personal belongings and um and it went bad it did not go well <clears throat> those are letters from professor Fobitar to the other clown saying in the relationship are we going to have to shoot us over the head 